Um, well, thank you guys so much for allowing me to come and talk to you guys. We're here with John and Ken, their executive producers for Rivals. Um, I was very excited to get this opportunity. I'm a big, big football fan. Um, and being a Miami Dolphins fan, we hear a lot about Michigan. Um, but uh, I, I have a really good friend who loves Ohio State. So I hear a lot of the both. It was, it was really interesting. I guess my first question for you guys, uh, your team added quite a bit of comedy into Rivals. The introduction of different uh, phrases or situations in a funny way really got me hooked early. Uh, what led you guys to go into more of a humor aspect for the beginning and uh, throughout the documentary? Yeah, the, the guys, uh, Peter Carl, the director, starting with him. I, I think when we sized this up, we said, look, People know that Ohio State and Michigan are rivals. They can go to Wikipedia if they wanted to know who won what game and what year and by what score. What we really wanted to do was make this sort of fun and digestible, but have fans walk away with a better sense of what is a rivalry? Why do we care so much about these games? Why is it different when Ohio State plays Michigan than when Ohio State plays Purdue or Michigan plays Maryland? What is it about a rivalry? And we thought that uh, – Humor would be a good way in. Uh, you know, J.K. Simmons, our, our trusty narrator, uh, lent his uh, sort of his his touches as well. Um, but we thought, you know, this we we could have done a dry historical documentary. These guys have played each other for more than a hundred times, but that really wasn't the goal. It was more to explain rivalry, and there is this sort of element of of eye rolling and fun and smiles that sort of underlies this. Totally. And I, I'll tell you, for the perfectly said, as always, and, you know, in our own spirit of rivalry, I think, Adam, what we wanted to do is make sure there's a, a tremendous amount of great work being done in the long form world on sports and sports stories. And this is one of the greatest ones. And and we wanted to make sure that this was just different, right? That it, it's, it's a different in its initial conception of trying to get under the fingernails of what makes a rivalry, why it is so elemental to human existence, why it goes so far beyond sports. And this one in particular, if we could tell it tip to tail. Um, and we never wanted you to be confused if you would tune in halfway through that you were watching something else that could have just been anywhere. Right. Uh, and this definitely is not the same old, you know, your father's old <laughs> sports documentary. It's not I'm not sure it's even a sports documentary. I think it's a doc that happens to be about a sports topic. And and uh, but it really is meant to be universal to people who don't know what all the fuss is about or didn't know before they started watching. That was a great way of saying it. I, I was trying to find the words to describe it. It didn't feel like a documentary. It felt like you were watching a show of, of some sort that just happened to be giving a lot of information. But speaking of J.K. Simmons, um, as the narrator for this project, did you know beforehand how big an Ohio State guy he was? Or was that a happy accident? His, his interactions with Rich Eisen specifically were some of the funniest moments in the entire thing. And uh, I, knew, I knew Rich Eisen was a big Michigan guy. But I didn't know that J.K. Simmons was Ohio State. So, oh, we we knew all about it the, the same way we knew that when Ohio State and Michigan played in November of 2022, they were both going to be undefeated and uh, exactly. playing with with a national title on the line. Um, we had, had our share of good fortune with this project, which is great. And one of them was uh, with I mean, Ken, Ken. You could talk to this, but uh, well, no, I'm glad I'm glad you yeah. mentioned that, Adam, because I thought J.K. Simmons was just the perfect. It, it, we we lucked into it honestly, but also it was just kind of a, the perfect note to hit. Yeah. We knew he was a Buckeye fan, um, and it, we didn't know that he was born in Michigan. That his father was the music teacher professor at Ohio State, you know. And then we think Whiplash and the Oscar that he won, and that he and and Rich had had this, you know, sort of extended rivalry amongst themselves over the rivalry, and it just so we. We were both lucky and good, I think, on that one. And uh, it just the more you peeled back the onion, the greater it got. And that dynamic really typified the tone that we wanted to set with the with the with the film, which hopefully will become a series of films. I would love that. And one last quick one. As a Miami Dolphin fan myself, we've had a lot of Michigan information thrown our way. We've had players like Chad Henney, uh, Ted Ginn mm -hmm. Jr., who you mentioned in Rivals. Um, how did you go about choosing who you wanted to focus on and were there uh, players that you just did not get to do because of you ran out of time? 
Uh, yeah, yes and yes. Uh, you know, we, we could have done multi parts here. I mean, I think we wanted each voice to stand for something. So Archie Griffin, two time Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, Dan Durdorf played in this rivalry game 50 years ago and still has these vivid. I mean, he's to verbatim recalling these exchanges. Um, you know, th there is a, uh, a, a you know, quarterback in the same state where you are that plays uh, for, for the Buccaneers who went to Michigan. Um, you know, his, his, his voice would have been welcome. But no, I mean, we, we were spoiled for choices because this rivalry en encapsulates so much and so many players and everyone approaches it a little bit differently. Yeah, I will tell you one thing. I, John and I were both in France uh, at Roland Garros uh, doing our other day jobs. And um, when I watched the first cut till three o'clock in the morning and it was it would have been a three and a half hour show. And at the time, I have to tell you, we said, I don't know what you could possibly take out of this because it's all so good. And um, that is the beauty and the talent of, uh, you know, how did you make it, uh, you know, shorter? Well, we had the time and, <laughs> and we, we, we nipped and we talked, it would have been great longer, but, you know, I think we got the best of the best in this and, you know, someday we'll do the extended version and we'll make it a series. <laughs> we'll have a producer's kind. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate talking Thanks, to you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Adam.